All right, this is uh, Andrew Cowboy. Um, I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about some things you can do with Titanium Backup. So this is my Kindle, as you can see. I have the ads here on the front, and this is pretty normal for everyone. But I'm going to show you how to disable those ads. There's a couple of different ways to do it and some other apps, but I want to show you guys how to do it using Titanium Backup. This, in general, is a really a great app. It lets you do a lot of things. Um, so if you get into rooting and stuff, I would definitely recommend uh, downloading this app because also if you buy, you're going to need the pro version to do this. Uh, and I think it's really worth it because you can use it on any other Android device in the future uh, on multiple devices. And I've been using this app for a very long time. And I found it very uh, useful and, and, and indispensable. So what with Titanium Backup, uh, if you go into it, normally you'll come into this first screen, which is the overview screen. And what you want to do is go into the middle tab here and back up and restore. With Titanium Backup here, you hit this click uh, to edit uh, feature right here. Um, and here you can pick sort of what apps you want to see. So I have system apps check. You can, you can click user apps if you want. There's a little check button you hit. Uh, as you can see, the user apps, uh, when they show up, they're actually white, right? You see the writing is white. That's how you know it's a user app. If you go into a system app, for example, I'm going to bring up the system apps here. You can see they're in red. So that's one easy way to tell if you're dealing with a, um, a system app um, or if you're dealing with um, a user app. Um, and so what you want to do is uh, you're going to want to um, you're going to want you're going to want to go down and find uh, um, make this a little easier to see here. Um, okay. And so what you're going to want to do is uh, uh, go down and find this uh, app, the Kindle um, software, the ad app. So if you go down, it's going to be under Kindle's Kindle special offer. So there is, I don't know if you can see it, but it says uh, um, Kindle special offer is right here. Okay. And so all you got to do is, is tap that. And so you get a few options here. And one is going to be backup, freeze, and uninstall. So we don't need to actually uninstall that because there's a nice feature here called the uh, freeze. And that basically stops the app from working uh, without uninstalling it. So it's a really nice, neat feature. So you just hit the freeze button here, and uh, and that's it. Um, now if we turn off the Kindle, okay, and uh, we turn it back on, as you can see, no more ads. Now you can see we just have the the regular wallpaper. So that's it. Uh, and you can just as easily uh, bring it back if you just hit it and hit the defrost. You can just hit the defrost button here. Uh, for example, and and that will bring the ads right back. So there it is. The ads are back, as you can see. So it's pretty pretty easy to do. So it's really nice because it doesn't uh, it doesn't uninstall the app and remove it and, and you know do anything like that. So basically, just just stops it from um, working. Also, Titanium Backup Pro is really nice because if you do want to install on alternative launchers and make it the default, uh, this is going to be the only way for you to be able to do it. So I have, for example, uh, Apex installed here. But if you want to make it default so that's the only launcher that you have or when, or when you open your uh, Kindle, that's the launcher you go to, you're going to need um, Titanium Backup. This is one of the apps that lets you do this. So I think it's uh, definitely uh, worth it um, to have this app. It lets you do a lot of things. And again, you can use it on, on your other devices as well. So you're not restricted to just using this on the Kindle Fire. And general, if you get into rooting and stuff, this is a really indispensable app to have. So um, that's it. Um, hope you guys like this video. Um, hit the thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to our channel.